It's April 15th. It's Jackie Robinson Day. That's right, it's still Jackie Robinson Day. I can't think of a better time to remember my hero, and he's the hero of uh, many of you out there, than this time that we're in, this pandemic. Um, I can't think of a better way to commemorate everything that he was about than to announce uh, the partnership between Tolco and Figs. You know, Figs is, is uh, one of the companies that's the designer and man manufacturer of modern medical apparel. Um, and Tolco is basically my friend Thomas Toll, who uh, through the company Legendary produced 42. Um, Tolco and Figs is donating 4.2 million, 4.2 for 42 in protective medical equipment in honor of Jackie Robinson Day. You know, for the last couple of weeks, we found that the statistics um, for COVID-19 have shown that the African-American community has been hit the hardest. The Latino community has been hit the hardest and that's partially because um, we're the frontline workers. We're the ones still going to work, we're the ones still driving the buses, but in the hospitals, and in the, in the medical field, we're the EMTs, we're the ones who are, you know, going to battle every day. Um, and in some of the hospitals that are servicing, you know, our people, there's just not the, there's not enough equipment. There's, there's, there's not enough, um, you know, masks, there's not enough gloves, there's not, there's not enough isolation gowns. And so what Tolco and Fix is doing is they're gonna ex execute the distribution of, of those scrubs, of those masks, of those isolation gowns to those hospitals that have been impacted the most. Um, and that's what we need, that's the leadership we need. So I applaud Thomas Toll, you know, he he filled in the gap when we were doing 42, you know, the, the, there were people that didn't believe in it. And um, it's the same thing happening right now, you know, we. Throughout this process, the federal government and the states have not exactly come together. You know, the federal government has not made sure those companies that provide, um, you know, that that they put a bid in and then distribute as needed the equipment. The same thing is happening with the tests. You know, the federal government has to put a bid in and, um, you know, make sure that the prices don't get driven up on the states, especially the ones that need it the most and then that can be distributed properly. So we, we need leadership like this um, in order to fill in the gap. So there are others of you out there who, who um, can work in, in similar ways uh, until the states and, and, the, and the federal government get it together. Um, but we can't wait, we can't allow people to die in, in, in that process and they're the working it out. So Jackie Robinson, they're still alive. We're still, still in second base. We're still, still in third base. We're still, still at home. And so uh, let's celebrate him today. And those, those uh, hospitals and those, those uh, medical organizations that are that are doing the work. We can't just say, you know, we appreciate them. Let's let's get them what they need in Chicago, in Michigan, you know, and you know, in the various places that they needed. So happy Jackie Robinson Day. Happy hashtag Operation 42. That's what this is. Operation 42, 4.2 million. Um, Thomas told you the man.